And we're back with another Pico CTF challenge, this time Roboto Sans, a web exploitation challenge. Description, the flag is somewhere on this web application, not necessarily on the website. Find it. And then we're given no hints, but uh, Roboto is a big hint. So we can certainly, we've seen this website before, we can poke around and we can take a look but it's very similar to what we've seen prior with the carousel and the bootstrap and all those different libraries and a, a pretty simple page. You see there's, uh, there's bootstrap. There's carousel in there. Uh, yep, there it is. So what this is telling me is maybe check out the robots.txt. And we can see we have entries here. So what the hell is robots.txt? At all times, there are web crawlers from Google, Yahoo, all kinds of different companies that are crawling the web and, and doing various things. For example, building search indexes. And one of the things they do is they look at this, this published text file and the owner of a website can say, hey, don't index this, don't go to this. So it says, for example, disallow CGI bin, meaning it won't look at what's in CGI bin. So maybe that's of interest to us. Let's take a look. We get a 404, there's nothing there. WP admin, so WordPress admin. WordPress is typically uh, used on uh, blogging type sites and, and things like that. It's a framework to stand things up. And then we see some things that kind of look like base 64. And this is a little CTF-ish. This is not really something you would find in a real robots.txt, but uh, it's, it's something we see here to obfuscate. So we've got a few things going on here and we'll take a look at them one at a time. All right, let's just cut that and let's see. See if this, so flag.txt, flag1.txt, that might be something that's present. Let's take a look at that. Nope. And while we're doing this, let's just discuss why would anybody uh, publish a robots.txt? Why not just not include things you don't want people to see? The answer is, you're right, you definitely should not include things that, uh, that you don't want to be public and that have personal and, and private and important information. But sometimes you have things that, you know, it's, it's like an employee access login or something like that, where you never want customers to go there. It's not of interest, et cetera, but it's not really sensitive. It's just, there's no point in it being indexed, there's no point in it being looked at, uh, etc. So that's the real purpose. And uh, here we go. We found the flag. Let's go ahead and let's submit it. Hooray, we solved it. All right. Like, subscribe, comment, etc. Thanks a lot. Have a good one. Bye.